Good afternoon. It is Monday, and I am not able to wear my Coffee Monday shirt right now because I can't find it. I'm a little bit upset about that. I searched for it last night when I was getting my outfit ready for today, and I couldn't find it anywhere. So right now I'm wearing the other shirt that I have from Benji and Judy from A Studio's Life, their green juice shirt. That was just my next choice because I've been wearing the Coffee Monday shirt every Monday for like, gosh, ever since it came out. I think it was like a year, year and a half ago, maybe even more. If you're a fan of A Studio's Life or Benji and Judy in any other way, then you can probably remember when that came out better than I can. So Monday, it was interesting. Basically, we had a very like empty office. That's why it was odd for me. I don't really like see a lot of people every time I go to TRBC for work. That's where I work today. But it's because like we're like in IT, we're always like cooped up in our offices. Like one or two of us will go out and do a lot of like the help desk type stuff, you know, like running to each office and, or like other locations and doing work there with the people. A couple of us are almost always in our offices doing work online and interacting with people online through emails or whatever so it's not much different but when we arrived today each of us were parking it was just barren kind of almost eye-opening to see how many people had gone on vacation like actual vacation and left either left the city or whatever or left early from the office today and so like one of the janitors that comes by every weekday she was explaining how she and one other janitor um, had gone around probably about 300,000 square feet of the space that we have in our campus and done like several people's job. In other words, like they did probably a 10 person job just amongst the two of them. And they were just rushing around because it was so empty. So they could. When they came up to us, it's like she said that it was just so empty. Like over half of our people had gone and a lot of people from our executive suite were either gone or leaving. I was like, okay. And this was like around probably 12 ish. So not too long ago. It was just a couple hours ago, actually. I feel like I've been away from the office forever already, but it's, I've only been gone for like an hour. I keep on looking outside because being Lynchburg in the winter, it's even more like one of my friends said that, it, that Lynchburg's weather is kind of like a pregnant hormonal woman. In other words, if you've never lived here and if you haven't spent much more than like a couple of days here, you know Lynchburg has very odd weather. Being that we're in a valley, we're surrounded by mountains and stuff. We don't really get a lot of snow. It's more ice during the winter, but even that hasn't happened yet. A couple months ago, it was for sure cold enough to get snow, but we just didn't have any rain. It was just cold and like cloudy cloudy, on and off cloudy, clear skies, whatever, and windy, but we never had the precipitation to actually make any snow or anything. But being that we are in a valley, that's like all we ever get is ice and like freezing rain. All the snow hits the mountains and then rarely reaches us. A couple years ago, we had the biggest snow of a decade or two. I think it was like 8 to 15 inches, somewhere between there. I know that's a big range, but it was somewhere between there. Driving around on that, if you're from here and you haven't spent much time in other places driving around in that stuff, then you generally don't really know how to handle it. And it's evident when you're driving around here because people are so stupid, even in the rain. And so... I'm like, would you get your driver's license out of a cereal box? Places like New Jersey, they've got one heck of a budget for this stuff. The drivers up there, even though they are aggressive, they know how to do it. They know how to handle this stuff. Like I've got a couple friends that lived in Vegas, and they don't have any kind of budget for this stuff. It'll be melted before they can even get snow plows or anything. Any device, any machine that could possibly plow snow, the snow will be gone before they can get out there. Around here, it's kind of in the middle, but we've gotten a lot better about it, I think, over the last couple of years, where they'll have, like, everything is salted, and I and by better, I mean like they'll have it, uh, they'll have it cleared. It'll still be mush and stuff, but it's not like completely covered roads or anything like that. They've gotten better, and right now it probably looks a little cloudy from you guys' view, and it is. We had a little bit of rain an hour ago, and it was really cold because it's only like 40 something degrees here today, even though it's supposed to be the high of like 50. It's really confusing. I'm just gonna leave it at that because I'm gonna take a quick nap, and then my brothers and I are probably gonna head up to the gym, and then I'm gonna come back, rest a little bit, get some other things done before I really start editing. So hopefully this vlog will go through well because I've had to clear a lot of space off of my computer because I just haven't been backing up onto a hard drive. All these videos are just on YouTube and I will delete them from my computer right away so then I have space for more. So I definitely need an external hard drive to put all this stuff on so that in case something happens that I'm covered. Any vlogger who loses their videos knows the struggle and I have not lost any videos but I don't want to take a chance either. With that I will see you guys in a little while. So I got back home from the gym about an hour ago. It was a good one. Feeling pretty good. 
good. I'm not nearly as tired as I usually am. And I think it's because I'm wising up. Sorry, I get distracted. I look okay, at lazy eye for a second. I wised up a little bit, southern term. Decided to not do as much quantity of exercises. I just decided to take down the number of exercises that I'm doing in the gym. Because the goal here with me is to gain weight. You have to do high intensity exercise when you go to the gym. So your workout is not just quick, but intense. And then you go home or whatever to a restaurant or something and you feed yourself as soon as you possibly can. So tonight I finished in just over an hour and a half. Pretty quick for me. Usually we're done in like two hours, but I finished in about an hour and a half. Actually, I think it was less than that. Even. Right after that, I just sat and waited for my brothers to be done. And so I had some resting time and then we went to Target. Then we went home. I immediately got myself and one of my brothers a protein shake. You know, I had to feed right away. Showered. And I got food now. Got some shrimp and kale and spinach. I topped it off with some cocktail sauce. I got a big glass of water here because I'm trying to gain healthy weight. You know, just you gotta be careful with what you put into your system. I would say 99% of the stuff that I put into my body, I put in for function. Function over taste, really. But then, if you can find stuff that tastes good, you gotta treat it like a car, almost. Like, treat your body like it's a vehicle. It's your way of getting around. It's your way of doing things, of earning a living. So treat it well, and you'll feel better. It's the same way with a car. You treat it well, you know, maintain it well, then it'll do it for you what you want it to do, and it'll last longer. So th those kind of translate together. So I'm a little bit more tired now that I'm sitting down and everything. So I'm going to eat, get some stuff done here, and I will catch you guys in just a second. It's the end of the night, for me at least. I am going to be heading to bed as soon as I'm finished editing this vlog. I got some nerds here, actually from Halloween, but I bought them after Halloween. I'm just going to eat this because it's a small amount, and I'm just using it to help me to focus a little bit while I edit, to at least stay alert, and to make this better for you guys, because I do want to push this by 6.30 tomorrow morning, so this is just going to help me. I mean, I, I have time. I'm not, like, staying up super late to do this. Hopefully I'll go to bed in the next two hours and be done before that. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, guys and I hope everyone had a happy Monday. It was a good one for me, and I will catch you guys in a couple days. Good night.